Stasa 23 here back at Jim's Firearms checking out some new Wii and Civiti knives. Uh, let's get started with the Civiti. This is a new fixed blade that I was kind of interested in. This is the mid-watch in burlap micarta and N690. Never, I don't think I've ever seen them used. Well, I think they've used it a few times. Nice codex sheath. Comes with a nice tech lock style. I think this is the Trezola. Yeah, style clip. Excellent clip right there. Their retention is always good, as you can see. The thing that I like about this is how thin this blade stock is, and it feels nice and thin. I think this would be a great slicer. We should do something like this in like a uh, drop point. Would be awesome. I don't really like the ring. I'm not a tactical dude. Um, you can use it without it, but it's not the most comfortable. You kind of almost need to do that. But uh, that's the only thing I don't really like. It's got, and I don't really love that they got the bead blast finish on it. But N690 is super corrosion resistant, so it should be fine. All right, so this is the price on uh, the fixed blade. Set that right here. Can you put that back in? Absolutely. All right, and we got one more CD. I think I have one of these on, their w on the way to me. This is the price, and this is the new I-22, which it's kind of cool to me because I followed Jeff Blewett um, whenever he was Tough Thumbs, right? Yep. And uh, my buddy that's here with me at Jim's actually had purchased one of his original Tanics back in the day, and uh, yeah, I used to watch all of his content. There's his Maker's Mark. And it's just cool to see uh, some production knives come from him. I think the first was that War Toad, right, from Boker, that friction folder. Yeah, that was the first, and then what the Arc Forms after that? Yeah, the Arc Forms. I think there might there might have been more, but this is the first time I've seen one in this kind of budget form besides the Boker. I think the Boker was even kind of expensive because I think uh, yeah, I think it was a hundred plus dollars. Yeah. Huh? So this is a you know more budget friendly, sixty dollars. Uh, let's see if I can find the, there's the blade silver. I can't see, let's see if it says it on there. I don't think. 14C28. Oh, now see, that's even, that's even better. Love 14C28N, nice deep carry all the way there. And I like how it has a thumb stud and a flipper tab. That's a dual deployer. Feels good in hand initially, but I'll do my testing once I get mine in. And yeah. That's pretty nice. I, I think I will have one of these two put in my giveaway as well. Uh, Cause I bought one and I think they're sending me one. Very good action on this with the flipper and excellent action on the thumb. So they nailed that perfect job. All right, now two uh, new Wii's that I haven't checked out before. Here's the price tag. And this is the Revere. Reaver. Reaver. <laughs> We use Translate to try to figure that one out. S35VN, it's a limited. I'm guessing this is an in-house design, so it's a limited. They say limited, but they're usually never limited. So here's the knife. I'm, I was kind of shocked on how big this knife is. It's kind of weighty, because, uh, I mean, I guess the size. What kind of pivot is that, dude? You see that? Is that a lightning, that lightning anno? It is. Yeah, they did that lightning anno. They didn't really bring it to a full polish, so it's not really shiny, shiny. Uh, nice uh, mill titanium pocket clip. Is it sitting inside that groove? Sure is. I, I would think that your pants would get shoved in there. Uh, tons of milling on this thing. I mean, tons of milling. Nice groove right here. I wonder why they didn't do that and they went all the way through here. But let's get a good flip on it. Yeah, this thing is a beast. Let's see, this is that I-22. He's getting getting me something else. Just yeah, it doesn't matter what whatever you think. It's it's a something common. Yeah. Like a pair of two. Yeah, this is a pair of two. Let's go butt to butt just so you can see the extra length. Let's see. You got a you got a good what half inch about? I would say so. And the, and the pair of two is a, a full size knife. Absolutely. So this thing is a, a behemoth here. Surprised they went with S35 VN, but. Um, and a blasted blade. Womp womp. Uh, I like the blade shape. I don't know. It feels like it's ground decently thin. As thin as you can get it at that height. 
Feels like a flat grind though. Very smooth action. Decently comfortable. Got a decent sharpening troll. Give you one or two sharpenings. Jimping. There's not much of it there. Um, access to that lock bar. Pretty good. Very, very smooth. But that's a weighty blade. So, Let's see. Can I get to that puller? Nah. It's, oh, my bad. No. It's a little too hard. I mean, the deep tent's a little too stiff for that fuller use. But good action on this flipper tab has uh, jimping there as well. There's top jimping, I think you can kind of use that. Um, I don't know why that's on there, but cool. All right, now this one, I checked out a Blade Show and I, I almost picked it up then, I like it. There's the price tag and this is the Star Hawk on focus. But I like this knife. Um, it kind of reminds me of the Moat. I don't know, is this an O-Stop hell design? I don't know. Oh, um, nice micro milling on the chamfers right here, here. Nice weight on this one. I mean, this is a smaller knife, but it's nice and light. Um, let's see the action. Nice action from how I remembered it. Let me see something, I think. I want to say, can I... Yeah, you can kind of, you can get to that fuller and reverse flick it. It's not the easiest because it's you gotta like kind of put your finger in there. This one, the detent's fine to do it on. Let's see something. Does it say 20 CV blade steel on this one? It's got that silver bead blasted blade, blood groove. Um, now it's a smaller knife. I have a medium sized hand. I can just barely get four fingers. So if you have a large extra large hand, this might be a little small for you. How's the detail on that one? About the same. This one feels like, like it might be a little bit stiffer. <clears throat> this is the other version they have with the black and the bronze anodized hardware. Same blade. Let's see. Yeah, uh, the the um the uh, lock bar tension's more on this one right here. Yeah, it, it flips harder, but let's see. Can I? Uh, no, see this one does have a little bit it has more lock bar pressure so it's um you, i mean i i would say the main main thing on this one is a flipper tab i mean that's what it's intended for um you know i prefer the medium like this but i know most people would prefer the detent that's on the black one uh good good lock bar uh access there they got a nice little chamfer it's nice and comfortable it's a good size knife for, you know, somebody looking for a medium size knife. So there you go. That is uh, some of the new Wii knives and uh, some of the new Civivi knives. Let me know what y'all think. If you picked up any of these, um, I'm really considering picking up one of these. Uh, I might have to message them, see if they're going to plan on uh, making any other blade shapes of this one. So there you go. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. If you want any of these, um, call Gems Farms in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I'll leave the number down below in uh, the comments. If, you, if you're wondering if they have something, just give them a call and ask them. All right, I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.